Hey everyone, this is Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, and in this video, I ask a very, very important question. Hey everyone, this is Stuart. Welcome back to the channel. We're here at Irish Town Nature Park in Moncton. And I have a very, very important question to ask many of you. Why do so many amateur radio clubs suck? Yeah, I'm not gonna hold back any punches. I'm gonna ask that a tough question because I saw a video uh, from an Australian uh, amateur radio YouTube channel. Ham radio clubs suck. Yesterday about their club and all the cool things that they do to attract new members. And I asked myself this question, why do most amateur radio clubs suck? Now I've been a ham for 30 years, but I haven't, I haven't been an active ham for 30 years, but I've been around long enough to realize this common denominator that most ham radio clubs suck. They do. Plain and simple. Can't figure out a better word to use than other than suck. And here's my observation. Now your observations and your feelings may be different and I like to welcome them by leaving a comment, but be respectful in your comments. Uh, most people are. There's always one or two that are not. But why do so many ham radio clubs suck? Well, here's again, here's my observations of what I see. Most of them are run more in a dictatorship kind of approach versus a democracy type of approach. And this was the one that this club in Australia that I really uh, was excited with because they involves they involve the whole club they have subcommittees to run different parts of their program not just one or two people and i find with ham radio clubs it's always the same one or two people that do everything and they almost like control it and when new members come especially younger ones they get these new members and these new young hams don't want to participate because either they're chastised by these older controlling type members or they are they're saying well don't we're not going to change things because we've always done it this way and i barely see ham radio clubs being innovative in technologies case in point the adoption of technologies like uh inter -gate, internet gateways echo link ft4 ft8 and different type of technologies are like like that are often you know not implemented because the older controlling members of the group and i'm not saying old people in general older people in general older hams in general but just the older club members they say, well, we, we've never done it. We've always done it this way. And these newer guys like me, I'm, I'm not a young spring pick trick and I'm in my fifties, but I don't want to, I don't want to be a member of our local club because I brought forward an idea. I, I actually got it on the agenda once and it never got addressed in the meeting. Now, yes, they're going to say, well, we forgot, blah, blah. Anyway, yeah, so they wrote it down and put it on the agenda, didn't they? And so it just, it th things like that get forgotten or not even addressed. And it drives people like me away who have very good ideas at times to go and do, implement them on our own or do other things. And I enjoy the ham radio uh, aspect without being a member of any club. I don't want to join anything. I, I support our national organization because they do a lot of good things like advocacy for ham radio at the, at the federal government level. And, uh, you know, classes and good stuff like that um i support the i support radio amateurs of canada but that's where my support stops even here in new brunswick the local repeater group i joined i get no value from it none none whatsoever um the the link codes don't even work like when i tried them so um yeah i i like to ask this question to you do you feel that most ham radio clubs suck um and what can they do to improve it i think i think they need to have um more innovative uh, solutions and less like less formal meetings and more you know this group in australia has weekly tech top tech talks or weekly groups they have a lunch group and a dinner group or after hours group on wednesdays they are very active as a club together they have all kinds of different uh, groups and uh, interest special interest groups and i feel that most clubs don't have that they have no no structure they're just a bunch of hams to get together maybe they have coffee on a saturday or a wednesday and they have one formal business meeting every month because they have to i would say just get rid of the formal business meetings altogether and they have their executive meetings what what new stuff if you have a very good club let me know i'm really interested to see i just find most ham radio clubs just suck plain, plain and simple and i've been here in calgary moncton here all over the country i just find they're all the same they're all the same uh, nothing ever changes and that's why new members uh, new younger hams don't come to the club meetings or if they do they don't come back neither do they i'm probably going to have a few people that don't like me for this video but that's okay i'm just expressing my opinion i'm not judging anybody they're probably all nice people but from a from a club perspective it's not for me i just like to do my thing come out here do some poda activations 
I don't even want to get involved with the politics of POTA. I just like to come out and do my thing. I like to contest. I like to run DX. And I don't need a club to do that. And they don't need my $30 a year. I'll keep my $30 a year and do other things with it. I'm Stuart, Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. Let me know what you think about your club or what you think Ham Radio Club should do in the comments below. This is going to be a bit of a controversial video, but that's what I do. <laughs> 7 3, everyone. We'll talk to you all later. Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. See you later. Oh, yeah. One last thing for my video on the. Uh why amateur radio club suck i was driving home i got thinking about it if you don't like it um and you don't like your club and you but you still want to help volunteer to get involved with committees or organizations or even just volunteer to run the thing um i know in the, uh, my experiences here in uh, new brunswick was there was a a contest group i really expressed some interest in getting involved with that and the guys that run it, no, I know it's not official ham radio club, but the guys that are involved with it, I just never, uh, never even bothered to uh, get back in touch with me. But yeah, if you can't, if you can't influence change, or if uh, if the organization is resistant to change, you, you, and you try to get involved, then you may have to uh, source out some other things, or even start start your own. If you don't like it, start your own. I'm uh, I'm really thinking about starting. Uh, New Brunswick or Maritimes DX Club for ham radio operators that are very interested in DX. And we all get together and share ideas and strategies. If that's if you're a Maritimer and you're interested in DX and you want to talk to me about it, uh, reach out. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. Oh my God, it's <laughs> bumpy road. Okay, 7-3 everyone. I just had this afterthought after I got on the road and started heading home. See you later.